Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for gshelper.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a health bar underneath your player and it will follow your player just like in some of the role playing games and, and shoot em up games. So we're going to go ahead and start. We're going to go into attributes and we need two attributes. The first one we need is a real attribute and that's going to be for the player's X. Now, if um, th this game is left to right only, so I only need the X. But if your game, if the player moves around up and down, left and right, then you're going to need the Y also. Now I'm going to go ahead and create one more, and this is going to be an integer, and this is going to be for my life. And I'm going to set it to 50, and the reason why I'm setting it to 50 is because my actor is going to be 50 pixels wide, um, so that's why I've set that to 50. Now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to create a new actor and this actor is going to be our health bar. So I'm going to go into this actor here and I'm going to change the size of this actor to 50 and the height is going to be about 8 pixels and I'm going to want it to be green. Now what we need to do is go into our alien and we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a constraint attribute in here. And we're, uh, sorry, not our alien. Uh, my mistake. We're going to go into our player, uh, which is the ship there. And we're going to put a constraint attribute in here. And we're going to constrain game players X to players or act self position X. So we're going to keep track of its left and right position at all times. Now we're going to go into the health bar and this is where all the main stuff happens. So the first thing we need to do is we need to do another constraint attribute and we're going to constrain self position X to and here's some math here and I'll explain it so it's going to be open bracket game dot players x. So we're going to basically constraining the the position of the health bar to the x of the player. Now I'm going to go minus 25, and the reason why I'm doing minus 25 is because my player is 50 pixels wide. So I want this to be constrained to the left of my player. So I'm doing half of the width of the player. So it's self position X minus 25, close bracket. And then we're going to say plus, open bracket. And we're going to go self, size, width, divided by 2. And the reason why we do this section here is so that way as the health bar shrinks, it'll stay constrained to the left of the player instead of shrinking in the middle. I'm going to hit OK. And now what we want to do is we want to constrain self size width to game life. So depending on how much life you have, it'll change the size of the width of the health bar. And then we're going to hit back. And I'm going to copy this actor. I'm going to call this life background. And I'm going to go in here and under size, I'm going to change this to 54. So a couple pixels um, wider. And I'll do 12, so a couple pixels higher. And we're going to change this to white. And we're just going to basically use this as a background for the health bar. So in the constraint attribute self position X, we're just going to go in here and we're actually just going to constrain it to the player's X. And then I'm going to get rid of this one here. So in our attributes, I have life at 50. And I believe I've already set up 
No, I haven't. Okay, so we're in here, in our player, we're going to say rule when overlaps or collides with our bullet, in my case it's a bomb, we're going to change attribute game life to game life minus 10 because our life is 50 and I only want him to get hit 50, 5 times before he dies so every time he gets hit we're going to minus 10 so after 5 shots he's dead so now you'll see when I hit preview oh sorry we got to add the um, the green power bar to our scene I'm just going to put it underneath here And uh, actually, one other thing I want to do is go into the green power bar, and we're going to say spawn actor, and we're going to spawn the life background in the back of this actor. And that should be it. We'll hit preview, and there's our health bar, and as you can see, it follows my player, and when I get hit, I lost some power there, lost some power again. And as you can see, the green is staying to the left of the player. You know, I have one more shot left. Now we're out of life, and you can do your end scene or whatever. I'll just hit refresh here to show you again. So full power. And every time you get hit, you lose some of your life. And um, you got to remember, this takes a lot of constraints. I think it's about four constraints. So you're not going to want to do this in a game where you have, like, four or five players with you know, all with these health bars, because those constraints will really hurt your performance. But uh, with one actor, you should be fine.